It's just the hometown theater. This is built in 1928. There's probably not many of them left. It's been about five weeks since the screen went dark at the Columbia Theater in St. Helens. Still, owners Lance and Leah Tillotson have come up with a new sort of showtime. It's hard to believe that we're in this position, but you know, you deal with it as best you, as you can. It's not the script they envisioned, but any good adaptation involves creativity, and in this case, the popcorn machine. I wasn't sure if it would actually work. You know, if I can keep the locals going, any way I can help out, I'm all for it. Customers can't come through the door, but they're still lining up at it. All here for a theater that's had such a special effect on this community. It's very cool. I think it's a great way to support, you know, local business here in the community that's been here for a long time. Not quite a drive-in, but close. The Tillotsons came up with the idea of drive-up popcorn. For $5 a bucket, it's what's kept them going. Honestly, just seeing how well the town has taken to it, how much, you know, it's just amazing how much they help. Plus, it's just fun. Look at the... The crowd just need to see everybody coming out. How are you? You support your neighbors, you support your friends. If you have the means to help out, do so. Come on down, help support the locals. Uh, this is uh, the same theater popcorn to get down here if you're watching a movie. I got two tubs, one for myself, one for a neighbor. In two hours, this stream of cars will buy about 250 buckets, pouring some appreciation into a theater using its own overflow to simply stay afloat. Honestly, the customers, St. Helens, they're, they're saving this theater. In St. Helens, John Goodwin, KGW News.